Coming back yesterday, here's something we need to play for him. Hit it, Blondie. Like Blondie said, Flash is fast, Flash is cool, and Dwayne Wade is officially back in this series. Welcome back. Um, like I said in my preview before Dwayne before Game Three, this series in San Antonio was going to hinge on if Dwayne Wade was going to show up or Manu Ginobili was going to show up. Because I feel like if they played well, that's an extra element of this series. Because we know that LeBron's going to play well, Tony Parker's going to play well, Duncan's going to play well, but you needed to see somebody else rise up. And I believe that that's what Game 4 was. We're going to call, I call Game 4 the Big 3 game because that was a game where Dwayne Wade, I don't know what got into him, but I'm glad something did because he played extremely well. 32 points, 6 steals. I mean, come on. That's that's the Dwayne Wade I wanted to see. Like, um, the problem with Dwayne Wade wasn't just his offense. His defense was terrible. I mean, Danny Green was lighting him up. Like, most of those threes were on Dwayne Wade's watch. So he was getting lit up. So Dwayne Wade had to step up in a big way. And I think if you're looking at Dwayne Wade career-wise, this might be the equivalent of maybe Shaq in Game 4 in the 2004 Finals, where Shaq was struggling against the Wallace boys, and he found a way to contribute, albeit in a loss, but that was probably one of the last great Finals games that Shaq had in his career. Dwayne Wade, we don't know what's going to happen afterwards, but that was a moment where he needed to step up and say, LeBron, I got you. I got you this game. And that's what he did. And that's a great thing for Wade. Chris Bosh stepped up to um, 20 points, 13 rebounds. Um, two big blocks that I saw when I got home. I missed most of the game, but I caught the boss and got home. And he got a nice little fine for flopping today. So, hey, all in the day's work, right? But I give him credit for trying to be aggressive because this was a game that it wasn't going to depend on what LeBron was going to do. It was going to be on what Wade and Bosh do because LeBron didn't come to Miami to pretty much carry this team like he did in Cleveland. He came to this team to have his performances and say, guys, you guys got me, let's go. And that's pretty much what happened in game four. Um, Miami was better on the defensive end. Danny Green got his threes, but it didn't seem like they were as impactful. Um, he was three for eight for the game, so it seemed like he didn't really um, get a shot. And I was watching the game. I didn't really notice him as much. So, And it's always a good sign when, when, you're, when your team is playing so well that you have Greg Popovich throw up the white flag and get his bench in there midway through the fourth quarter. I think Greg Popovich is a genius at that. He's admitting, okay, hey, this game's done. Let's get ready for the next one. I like that about him. So we have a best of three series, and it's going to be interesting to see where Wade goes from here. I think, to me, this isn't going to be about what LeBron does. It's going to be about what Dwayne Wade can do. Because if Dwayne Wade can play like this, this series is still going to be done in six, like I predicted. It's going to be done in six. If he can't play like this, then Miami's going to struggle a little bit. Miami does – I think I do think Miami has to win game five, though, because they have yet to show that they can win two straight games in this series, and I think that's what they're going to have to do to get the series under control because if they alternate, the Spurs have the advantage. So they have to be able to win two in a round. I think they have to win game five. Um, the Spurs have to win game five as well because it's their last home game, and they have to find – they have to make sure they leave San Antonio – with the lead or else they're in trouble. And I was going to say Tim Duncan was invisible, but actually he had his best game of the finals, I think, yesterday, um, shooting-wise. He was 6 or 10, but he had 20 points, so he played pretty well. But I think it's going to be interesting to see um, how Tony Parker feels. I mean, three days of rest with that hamstring might help him out or might stiffen up a little bit. So I think that will be something to watch. But, hey, welcome back to Wayne Wade. It's about time. Let's see if you can stay back for the rest of the finals. Peace.